Guys, look at this lane. This is a Boretum lane. I'm walking towards the Boretum. Yo, guys, you know I love South Africa. You know I love South African food. And most of you say that half South African hasn't. So, yes. Um, why don't I just do a Q&A video? <laughs> just want to do a Q&A video right now here. Um, as I enjoy my food. Let me see if I can place my camera down here. And then we can do a Q&A video. Okay. Hope you guys can see me. And we're gonna do a Q&A video right here. So I carried some food with me. Um, some South African food. And I'm gonna answer that question, whether I'm a South African. Oh, you can hear that? That's a group of people enjoying. So I carried some South African food here with me. Let me show you. So you can see. Uh, so if you're South African and you're watching this video, tell me if you can guess this. Kenyans. Stay away because I know you don't know it. This is Burundiani Traveler. Please subscribe to Nzioka's channel. One thing I've realized, we have markings here. I don't know where they're leading me to. But I hope they're leading me to a nice place. Because I don't know. These are markings. Okay. Hello and good afternoon, good morning, uh, good evening from where you're watching me from. My name is Zioka and right away I'm in a Boretum and I was supposed to meet a group here but I can't see them, I can't trust them. Now that I cannot locate my group, I don't know what to do but I got some food with me so I think this now is a private picnic. It was supposed to be a group picnic but now it's gonna be a private picnic and since I'm not allowed to vlog here I'm, the good thing is I have GoPro so I'm just gonna be very careful as I walk around so let me just show you around a little bit so as I was trying to say so there are some more things that you need to know before coming here at the Boretum so one camera is not allowed if you come with a camera it is gonna cost you um, filming I think it's 3,500 uh, Kenya shillings, then pictures is 1,300 Kenya shillings. Then, if it's like filming, filming for video, for movies and stuff, stuff that's gonna cost you like 6,000, 43,000. Yeah, 43,000. But you can take pictures or videos with your phone. I think that's allowed. I'm not sure, but you can ask at the gate. Okay. So, people do come here to, to pray as well. So as I'm walking, you'll hear people praying. Or you might see them as well, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, trying to show you people praying. But yeah. So the other thing is that this is a place where you can come with groups. Like for me, I was supposed to come with a group, but that was not possible because I can't locate my group. I don't wanna be seen with the camera because I'm doing it illegally. But I just want to tell you that this is a forest place uh, where you can come jogging, where you can come and see the nature and enjoy it. But most of the people come here praying. I think they believe that this is a place where you can be able to receive the answers to your prayers. It's a quiet place. I think that's why people come and do that here. So yeah, that's a Boretum for you. And it's in the Kenya Forest Reservation. Um, yeah. But look at the view. I don't want to talk so much. Uh, the other thing that you need to know before coming here is plastics. Plastics are not allowed. Plastics are not allowed. Uh, so you can bring food here. So that's the other thing that you need to know. And I can see. So we have this road here with arrows. This one doesn't have arrows. So I, I'm not sure which one to go. But let me go the one without arrows. Maybe we have good stuff there. Or maybe there's something that they don't want me to see. 
So, as I was trying to say, plastics are not allowed here, but you can bring food in plastics, but you make sure you cut it like a dish. You can cut water, uh, but you have to make sure that uh, the plastics, you're not going to leave them here. But you, they only check you in, but they will also check for cameras and stuff. So you need to be careful with that, okay? <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys can see me as I enjoy my food here. This is called Madombi in, in uh, South Africa. Muna. <laughs> so let me just go to the point as I enjoy my food. I didn't bring my water, so I'm just gonna have it like that. It's supposed to be eaten with um, like stew, but I'm just gonna have it like that way. Oh. A lot of people have been saying, Zuka, you need to do a QA hair video, and right here it is. So, um, where do I start? Let me just get my phone. <laughs> Let me do the questions from here. Okay, so the first question is What kind of a camera do I use? So most of you have seen my camera um, I've shown it before on my pictures on Instagram and all that So I'm using a GoPro Hero 8 It's a very nice camera, waterproof, the best Like, just like this food <laughs> Okay, so the other question is Do you have a favorite country among the five countries that you've traveled? Um, I don't. I think everyone, all, all of you know my favorite country right now. Um, Mzanzi. Hi. Kya Mzanzi mona. Hey, Dumelang. Eh? Uncha ni saubo na buna. Aish. Like rather so much South Africa mona. Aish. I love South Africa. Hmm. And South Africa is my home. South Africa is my home. Yes, Kenya is my home. I've been born in Kenya. Okay, I think now I'm answering the other question, whether I'm a Kenyan or a South African. Um, I was born in Kenya. Um, raised here in Kenya, but I've lived in South Africa uh, for two years. I've lived in, in, in Botswana for eight months. Uh, and I think that's where I got my South African accent because I missed it a lot of I mixed up with a lot of South Africans and Botswanians and that's why, yeah, because I also can speak uh, Setswana and a little bit of Zulu, like Saubona, Unjani, or Shona, whereby you say Sumalaga <laughs> Kubi. Okay, guys. Yeah, so that question answered whether I'm a Kenyan or a South African. Yes, I'm a Kenyan, but South Africa is home. Andres. So I've been to Kenya, I've been to Uganda, I've been to Tanzania. I've been to South Africa and I've been to Botswana. How many countries are those? Five. And I'm planning to go to another one before the year ends, celebrating my birthday. I'm going to celebrate it outside the country. So if you want to support me, there is the conduct down there. Okay. When people ask me, uh, how do you manage to travel? Who funds your travels? I also got that question when I was in Kenya. Call someone was asking me, how do you travel? Um, couch surfing has been a great, great impact in my travels whereby I can travel to South Africa and be hosted by someone I don't know uh, for like three days or one week or as long as I want and they're gonna provide for me food uh, anything that I want but not everybody gonna provide but most of them do they're gonna help you with locating where you want to travel and all that so I've been using couch surfing even here in Kenya I do use couch surfing um, I usually use uh, my money I'm also working guys um, so I have different jobs so I have YouTube whereby I get some little amount of money uh, and then I have another job, peace job that I do work at uh, at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Kenya and I also do uh, freelancing whereby I do uh, article writing and all that. So do you go to other country and if yes, would you stay there permanently? Yes, I want to travel, I want to go to other countries of course, uh, but I don't think that I want to stay um, in another place permanently and if yes the only place that I could stay permanently that could be in Zanzi hey Muna South Africa South Africa Muna yes 
of course, South Africa. The question is, which one is your dream country? So my dream country is Pakistan right now. South Africa was once, once my dream country. It's my favorite country in Africa and I think in the world so far because <laughs> it's one among the countries that I visited. Um, I think it may change as I continue to move but my dream country right now is Pakistan because I want to enjoy those Pakistan street foods. That's why I want to go there. It's my dream country and people are so hospitable. Okay. Another bite. Madombi. So, the other thing is, so someone was asking me, uh, which is my favorite food from South Africa? So my favorite food from South Africa and from Kenya, because you didn't ask that, I'm going to say it. So from South Africa is Patlo and Madombi, the one that I was just eating uh, as I was seated there. Uh, in Kenya, uh, I would say the Kenyan biryani that is called pilau. It's my favorite. Oh my goodness. Well prepared with uh, chicken or beef, just the best. So, guys, I'm just gonna end this video here. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. You can come to Boretum. I've told you a lot about Boretum, so come and enjoy. I'm inside the forest hiding my camera. Uh, and I'm right now just gonna walk out because I don't wanna be or lose my camera right here while well, i've just finished okay let's go home thank you guys for watching subscribe like and comment